This morning on GMET, a historic church building is up for sale. It's an East Texas sanctuary, sanctuary that's been in place of worship for more than a century. GMET's Lorena Rivas has more on why their doors are closing. For more than 100 years, the first Presbyterian Church and Troop was an active development of the community. They had church under the trees at first. Church members finished this building in 1909, which helped in building much of the city. Then, in 1981, this location became a historical marker. But now, a place that brought many together for worship is empty. The people that owned it before us was the um, Presbyterian Corporation, and so they were having church here. The church kind of dwindled out. The people um, were older and dying, and so they shut them down. When Lisa and Steve Rojas brought the property two years ago, they were surprised to see the current state of the church. They left it as if they had church on Sunday and walked out. Everything was here. The Bible's here. The church plates were here. That's when they decided to restore and bring it back to its glory. Got it back to the way it looked in the late 1800s. A noticeable feature of this church, it's a stained window. The windows are absolutely amazing. Since all of them carry a different story, this one was donated by the Ladies Aid Society, while others keep the memory alive of church members. And when they worked to bring life back to this building, many in the community showed support. And we had had several people drive by when we turned the lights on at night and they were so happy that it's back on and it's functioning because it sat here empty for a long time. For them, keeping the history of this church is what makes it so special. About the artisanship. You will never see this again. For Good Morning East Texas, I'm Lorena Rivas. Now the sellers say they hope whoever buys this building will keep it as a church or make it a unique venue or even a rare home.